Shalom Aleichem everybody, hope all is well. My friends, you have, we have to recognize something very important. Israel is winning the war, the Jewish people are emerging victorious, absolutely. And you may not see this if you go, if you're watching the, the polluted news. There's this agenda on the people who are against the Jewish people to make it seem as if the Jewish people are losing. But it's not true. It's a lie. They're so conf they, they they display such false confidence in their lies. But we just have to, to to look right through it and see the truth. The truth that God Almighty promises the Jewish people victory, and promises blessings to those who bless us, and promises the coming of Mashiach, and promises to grant us the the redemption and the, the end of days, the times of Mashiach, the Messianic era, the third temple, and the revelation of God on earth. Because I, I realized it myself. Listen, I knew all these to be true. But I was so curious at the false confidence of, of the enemies of Israel. Why they make it seem like like there's such victory on their side when it's obviously so clearly such lies. And it came to such a climax today, this 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 clarity of how foolish some of the enemies of Israel are when they try to make it seem confidently, falsely, that they're winning the war. I realized that when they were trying to, you know, trying to emphasize how Hezbollah is winning against Israel, when it's clearly not true, it became so apparent that Israel has been hitting Hezbollah very hard in response to all of Hezbollah's actions, where they killed a big Hezbollah leader, a few big Hezbollah leaders, as well as they killed a big Hamas leader in Beirut, the heart of Hezbollah's territory, false territory, uh, but, you know. And Hezbollah did nothing. They did no escalation. They promised a big escalation. Everyone's saying, oh, they're going to hit Tel Aviv, they're going to hit Central Israel. They did nothing. And not only that, but uh, today there's news that they're retreating backwards until kilometers backwards to try to de-escalate the situation. Now, does that sound like somebody who's winning the war? <laughs> to me, it doesn't at all. Zero escalation, zero response to some of their leaders being slaughtered, thank God. Zero. And not only that, but recruiting, retreating backwards. Could you imagine if that was Israel doing that? Now, of course, we still need a, a salvation from God. We need a redemption. We need complete victory. We're not satisfied, even close to satisfied with what's happening. You know, we want ultimate victory, and things could change at any moment. We can't trust these people. They could launch in a, like, you know, we have to be ready for anything. Israel has to be ready for anything from these uh, terrorists. But on the ground, this does not appear to be anywhere near what these evil people who are cursing Israel are claiming. So this is just a reminder to us, this lesson. It's not a history lesson. It's not a political lesson. It's a spiritual lesson to us. That God is with us, and that when the enemy, and we have also an evil inclination, when the evil, the Yetzir Hara, the evil inclination, the Satan, tries to even give us negative thoughts and put us down, we have to see right through his lies and say, Hashem is with us. Hashem is promising us victory. Victory is happening as we speak. Victory is 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 occurring. And the redemption, we're at the eve of redemption. The redemption is going to be revealed right now, God willing. We have to see through the lies. We have to call their bluff, call the enemy's bluff. And I'm telling you, this was a complete, complete awakening for me to realize that all the enemy's confidence is false. They, they scheme, they, they talk, they scoff, they, 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 they speak. Uh, you know, scoffers, in the, as it says in Tehillim, they, they speak nonsense. The enemies of Israel, they, 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 they. they mock Israel and they make it put down Israel but they're losing the battle God Almighty is 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 pursuing them <clears throat> and they know it that's why they're that's why they're speaking such garbage such nonsense because because they're falling because the enemy is on the verge of collapse and God Almighty is removing them from the face of the earth because that is why they're speaking like as if they're victorious. Because it's like a chicken. When you slaughter a chicken, after it's done, it kicks and jumps around. After you slaughter an animal, 
to, to eat it, you slaughter an animal, after it's already dead, it starts to flop around and shake around. Not because it's alive anymore, it's dead, it doesn't feel any pain, it's dead, but the nerves are just sending signals. That's what the enemy is doing. They're acting like they're all big and tough, but they're already dead, they're already done. They're just flopping around. And that's a lesson to us on this very holy day. Today is a very special day. Today is an et, an es ratzon, an et ratzon from the Abishter. Today is a, a auspicious time to connect to God Almighty. Today is a time where today is the yard site, the day of the anniversary of the passing of the Altar Rebbe, the first Rebbe of Chabad, who te- taught us the book of Tanya, the deepest secrets of the Torah, the deepest secrets of Chassidus. And this is a, a time for us to connect to the Alter Rebbe, to connect to the Rebbe, the leader of our generation, to connect to Chassidus, which is explains Kabbalah. Chassidus is the secrets of Torah explained in a presentable way for everyone to experience. That now we are in the final generation. That at any moment now the Messiah is going to come. And now is the time to increase in our study of Torah. Because this is a spiritual war more than anything. To increase in our acts of kindness. And to realize that our whole life has to be penetrated with an excitement about the redemption. We are in the promised generation. The generation that was promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to Moses. We're living in this generation. And we are affecting this. But through our actions, we speed up this process. <clears throat> so this is the lesson to you guys today. That vict- victory is near. Victory is happening as we speak. The enemy is talking, they're bluffing, but they're collapsing very, very quickly too. They're turning on each other. I saw some people who are some of the biggest anti-Semites, famous anti-Semites, are turning on each other. They're stealing each other's work. They're calling each other out. God Almighty is pinning the enemy against each other. The enemies of Israel are being pinned against each other. And it's not a political thing. It's not about the state of Israel or politics. It's about the children of Israel and the holy land of Israel with the coming of Mashiach. That's what it's about. And whoever curses Israel will surely be cursed. And whoever blesses us will surely be blessed. If you're Jewish, you can fulfill this, speed up this prophecy, connect to God Almighty through following the Torah and all its mitzvahs. And if you're not Jewish, you can be a righteous Gentile by following the seven laws of Noach and all their details and connecting to God Almighty and spreading His existence and presence to the world and bringing others with you. That is how we do our part to bring the Messiah. When all the world will then be filled with a revelation of God. We will experience God Almighty in our minds, in our brains, in our hearts. We will literally apprehend, experience a revelation, an awareness, a deep awareness in our brains of God and in our hearts. It will be the greatest pleasure possible. It will be an expansion of consciousness, a growth a new consciousness that God Almighty will introduce to us. We can tap into that now by studying the secrets of Torah, by getting ready for the coming of Mashiach. Thank you so much. May we experience the coming of Mashiach immediately. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. You can help support us below. Thank you so much. May we have the redemption immediately.